So, I apologize, it's been like forever since I've made a video. My art classes have been like really hectic and giving me a lot and I still have a lot to do, but I thought I would show you what I'm going to do for one of my painting classes. For this painting class, we bought canvases that you put together and then you buy the actual canvas itself and put it on and now I've gotten into that a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys how you can make your own canvases. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. The first thing we are going to need for this project is some canvas. I got mine from a local art store and they will cut off specific lengths for you which is really handy. Next you'll need the stretcher to put your canvas on. I made mine out of wood and put a panel across the front to make it sturdier but you can get ones already cut and put them together yourself. Then you'll need a stapler to staple the canvas to the stretcher. Then you'll need some gesso to harden the canvas and make it white. And you'll also need sponge brushes to put the gesso on the canvas. But first, we'll need some sandpaper. What we're going to do with the sandpaper is sand down the edges of the board to make it nice and soft and so the canvas doesn't rip. Then, taking your canvas sheet, place the stretcher down and figure out where you want it. Then make a cut on the side where you'll be ripping, and the cool thing about canvas is you can rip it in a straight line. Now we have our canvas sheet. Now taking our stapler, we'll first want to make sure the canvas is placed exactly where we want it, and then staple it in the middle. Fold the edges however you want. This takes some practice, but I like mine flush with the side. Just it looks cleaner to me, but you can make it however you want it to look. Just make sure each side you do it is the same. And then staple it. Once you go around and staple it the same way, this should end up something like this. Once that is done, take your gesso and starting in the middle, fan it out until it covers the entire surface. Don't forget the sides as well. And you'll want to gesso this at least two or three times to make sure it is completely covered. And then once it's dry, you can start painting on it. So that is my quick tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!